everybody. This is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and you may remember that recently I showed you how to make these little canvases. Um, I took them and I altered them. This was actually my practice one. The others have already been sent to where they um, were supposed to go for the ATC swap over at artandsassy.ning.com. Well, I decided I am going to use this as an inspiration for today's project. So I'm just going to set that aside. Now, as you know, I enjoy making ATCs. I think they're fun. I think they're a fun thing to have on hand to swap. And I would like to make a few and just to carry in my purse. Um, I don't know about you, but there's been times when I have been in a craft store or another place with um, a family member or a friend or someone and we're just chatting about the things we're trying to decide if we want to buy. And I can't tell you how many times I've had people say something like, you sound like you might know something about this and they'll say ink or I was talking to my mother about stamps and another lady kept listening and she said yes I'm listening and I want to know this and this and this and I thought well it would be so nice to have something in my purse to give them to send them to my YouTube channel and to my blog so I decided I'm going to make a handful of ATCs and when I don't want to do too many. I want to use them for my swaps and then I want to have them so that then the next time when I have somebody ask me something, I can just hand them a, the ATC card and answer their question, of course, and then send them to my blog. So today's ATC is going to be, as I said, inspired by the, um, the canvas that I showed you. Now I'm going to start on the back side of my ATC and this um, I picked these up on the internet these are actually mat board ATCs and I picked them up several months ago and I decided today when I decided to do this that I was just going to pull those out and get them used up some of them were colored on one side and I didn't want to use the color side I want the back to be plain so these are the um, cards I'm using I'm using these three markers from Tim Holtz I'm using uh, spice marmalade. I'm using stormy sky and pilled paint. I have all these ink pads I'm using. Memento tuxedo black. I've got wild honey distress. Now if I had spice marmalade it would have been perfect for what I'm using that for but I don't so I'll have to, I could use that um, pen but I decided I'll just use the ink pad. I have this Dusty Durango from Stampin' Up! and I have Rich Razzleberry from Stampin' Up! as well. So we'll set those aside. Um, I have this little roll of washi that I picked up. Now I picked this up at a uh, expo and it did not say who it was by or the brand. I don't even remember the name of the store. Um, but it didn't have the brand name or anything so I don't know who this is by but I thought it was so cute and it was a good price and I picked up a couple rolls. Um, so I'm going to be using that. The paper collection I'm using is this What's Up paper pad, which is full of things that fly, but there's also lots of flowers and there's some pretty chevrons. And I'm actually using several of the pages. I also want to show you a tip that I saw here on YouTube, and I can't remember who it was. It may have been Christina at uh, Creations with Christina. It might have been um, Christina Werner also. But um, when, for instance, I use this corner, for today's ATC and rather than cut out or pull out the sheet I pulled out the corner and that way the rest of the page will stay in here I can't always do that but today I did and this is by basic gray and I really like this collection I'm using two sets of stamps I'm using um, sweet summertime or sweet sorry wrong name sweet july from k andrew designs and i'm using two different stamps from here i'm using this one that says summertime wishes and i'm using this little sun and then from october afternoon i'm using this um, kite stamp now remember on the original canvas i used this one that said summer but today i'm just using the kite but i'm also using the different fill ins as well so let's set that aside and let's get started as I mentioned, we're going to start with the back of the ATC because I want to do, um, I want, it's going to be flat and the front won't be completely flat. So the, what I'm going to do to start with is I'm just laying down some washi and I am just doing three little strips 
and it just kind of gives it mm, kind of this artsy feel without adding any dimension or complexity and usually it tears off cleaner than that so let's come at it again I really want I don't want them perfect I don't want my edges necessarily to be perfect but I would like them to be relatively clean um, so I'm just staggering this on different levels and different sizes and I, I want to have three little layers just like that and so that's it for my washi so I'll set that aside and then I have my little micron pin in front of me and I use I wanted to use the um, 0 0.08 but when I did it just was just a tad bit too big and so I changed and used my 0 0.02 and I don't know where I have set it so I guess we will make the 0 0.08 work so what I wanted to do is put my information now of this particular one I am doing five I'm only making five of this card so in this one this is number five so I'm putting that I'm putting August um, 2013 and then here I'm going to put my YouTube name and then up here and this is the one that gets a little bit tricky I'm going to put my blog and even using the point zero two I had to um, put it on two lines I could have gone up the side but this is just the way I wanted to do this one um, but definitely using my point zero eight I def or the point point eight I think is how it is I think it's the point two and point eight anyway I definitely had to go smaller here so then I signed it and then I'm including the verse that I often include so that's the back it's got all of the information just like an ATC should have so that you are able to share the things that you want to share so that's my back now the front I have already covered with paper and this is the base paper it took to make five of these I was able to get um, two sheets of paper to use it um, I cut the three and a half inch first and that barely left me a two and a half inch piece in fact it's a tad bit shy there but I think I'm okay um, but it's very uh, very carefully that you can get three out of a sheet of paper so but out of the five I was able to get five out of two sheets of paper with some leftovers so the next thing that I want to do is I want to start my stamping so we are going to start with the kite from kite tails and I'm going to use the tuxedo black on that so I, I know I'm going off camera here but I have to be able to see what I'm doing um, and I have two stamps on this particular block right now so I have to be careful to make sure that I don't have any black on it and I'm just lining this up in the top and there's that first one um, and then the next thing that I'm going to do I think I'll use the same block and I'm gonna go ahead and do my Sun now I really had a hard time I, I thought I had kind of an abstract Sun like this around somewhere but I couldn't find it and then I finally found it and it was on the set I had already pulled out to use and it's a little bit proportion wise it's a little bit smaller than my kite and so what I'm doing is I'm kind of setting it in this blank space here and I'm hoping that it looks like the Sun's way off in the distance bringing the kite to the forefront maybe it's just wishful, wishful thinking but that's my goal in positioning it the way that I am positioning it so then we're going to get the kite tails and that will be our next little piece now on as far as that is concerned I'm putting it and if it runs off the edge I'm okay with that I'm in fact I think it might have fit but if it had run off the edge I would have been just fine and I see there I didn't quite meet up but that's okay I can just draw a little line or something and fix that as well so now we've got our kite 
And then the next part that I'm going to stamp is my sentiment that says summertime wishes. I really like this sweet July stamp set from Kandra Designs. It was one I was, I used to be on her design team um, well, over a year ago. And this one came out actually after I was off of the design team, but it was one that I knew that I really wanted. So I was um, happy that I was able to get it. So that's it for the black stamping. Now I better grab that memento pen while I'm thinking about it and see if I can just kind of fake a line in here and kind of make things go. I think we'll be okay. So um, my stamping is complete. And so now we're going to move to the next part. Um, prior to stamping, I went through and I stamped from the different other papers from this collection. I stamped um, five more kites because I decided that I wanted to paper piece. Now I could color in the kite if I wanted to, but I decided I really wanted to paper piece. I don't do a lot of paper piecing. It's just really not my thing. Um, but every once in a while, I just get the urge to paper piece. I wanted to adhere it down really super well, and I didn't want to mess with the ATG. So after I cut out each individual kite, I went back and ran it through my little two, in, or my, I think it's one and a half inch Zyron. I, I call it the Xbox. A tip for this particular one, and I almost messed it up while I was trying to do it. I discovered that the easiest way to make sure that I get the best coverage is to match up to the, my widest points. And when I do that, I tend to get better coverage than if I try to start at the ends or the tips. It just doesn't give me that nice, clean coverage. So, um, as I mentioned, I'm really not into the whole paper piecing thing. I don't, it, to me, it just, is time consuming and not something I really enjoy doing. But for this image, it was perfect. And I thought, oh, I think I definitely need to paper piece this particular image. So we're moving on here. And I realized that I didn't quite finish stamping and which is fine when I did the other five I did the last bit of stamping after I did the Sun and the kite tails after I was done with the paper piecing so it's not so bulky that it's a problem in fact there's very little bulk added because this is nice cardstock but it's not super super heavy um, it's not super thick so it's pretty easy to go back and add those things so from the looks of it here on this corner, I kind of messed up my tip a little bit. Whoops, we don't want an orange one. So before we go on, I'm gonna come back through and just clean that up so it kind of flows. And actually I could just trace all the way up that side. I think it's about time to get a new micron pen. This one and I haven't been getting along today. Okay, so now we are going to move to the next step and that, or the final step, and that's getting our kite tails ready. So um, I'm going to start with my Razzleberry, um, Rich Razzleberry is what it's called. And I have to remember which one goes where. I think this went like this, that way. So we're gonna start with the first one, the purple one. Now, I don't know how this was originally intended to go um, as far as the, the little tails, but I discovered that they it takes some lining up to get them all lined up. And so I decided I wanted to um, just hand color some of them. The ones that did seem to work well or these two tails. Maybe in the original one, people paper piece them more. Maybe maybe they all line up and I just didn't take the time. I don't know. But I decided that for the rest of them, I was just going to run these different colors. 
just by hand. It only takes a second, and I probably could have done them by hand quicker, all, all of them, not just the extras. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know where that cough came from. Dry throat, talking too much. Okay, so that is the end of our fun ATC. Um, I may go back and add some stickles to my son. We'll just see. If, you, if I do, I'll note it on the blog, and then you'll also see it on the final project. So thanks so much for stopping by today. And remember to take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day. Bye.